Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through myotomal testing of the lumbar spine and the lower limb as a part of your lumbar spine neurological assessment. So why do we go through myotomal testing? If your patient reports or presents with a profound weakness of the lumbar spine or the lower limb, we can use myotomal tests to distinguish whether or not that weakness has been caused by neurological deficit, in particular to the spinal cord or the spinal nerve roots. Myotomal testing consists of isometric tests for individual actions, such as knee extension or ankle dorsiflexion, and we can test the lumbar spine nerve roots that innovate those actions to see if they're functioning well. In this video, we're going to be taking you through which actions are innovated by which lumbar spine nerve roots and how to test them individually. So with that in mind, let's get into our main video. Let's get clinical. So when testing the myotomes, we are looking to see if there is a significant weakness in the muscles innervated by their main nerve root, also known as the principal nerve root. For example, the principal nerve root for knee extension is L3 as it's the main nerve root that produces that action. So in this video, I'm going to take you through the myotomes of the lower limb, as well as how you would run through your tests in practice with your patient. And for each myotome, what we're asking our patient to do is to push against our resisted pressure so that we create an isometric contraction for each movement. So let's go through the myotomes. So the myotome for L2 is hip flexion. So for this, we would ask uh, our patient to push up against our resisted pressure and our hand is just proximal to the knee joint to test hip flexion. L3 is for knee extension. And so for this movement, we have one hand on the front of the patient's tibia, approximately two thirds of the way down, and we ask our patient to push forward to create knee extension. L4 is for ankle dorsiflexion. So for this position, what you can do is place one hand just proximal to the knee joint to make sure that the patient doesn't try to activate hip flexion as they uh, try and reproduce dorsiflexion. And this may be a common occurrence for someone who's very weak in dorsiflexion. So from here, we bring the patient's foot into a neutral position, one hand on top of their foot, and then we ask the patient to dorsiflex their ankle. L5 is for big toe extension. For this movement, we can have one hand on the posterior calcaneus in order to stop the patient trying to activate dorsiflexion, which they may do if they have weak uh, extension of the digits. So for this, we place one hand on top of the patient's toe and ask them to extend their toe upwards like so. S1 is for plantar flexion of the ankle. So the plantar flexion movement like so. For this, again, we can have one hand on the uh, posterior ankle or calcaneus to stabilize, one hand below the foot. We bring the foot into a neutral position and then ask our patient to push down against our pressure, like so. And finally, S2 is for knee flexion. So in this position, we have one hand, this time on the posterior aspect of the lower leg, approximately two thirds of the way down, and we ask our patient to flex against our resisted pressure. So that completes the myotomes that we're going to test. Now I'm going to show you how to run through them in practice. We need to make sure that we're testing the myotomes on both the right side and the left side with our patient. So the first action I'm going to ask you to do is to lift your leg up to the ceiling like so. Push against me, push me up, push me up, push me up. Thank you. And on this side, push me up, push against me. Thank you. Next, I'm going to ask you to kick your leg forwards like so. Push against me, push against me, push against me. Thank you. And on the left side, push against me, push against me. Thank you. Next, I'm going to ask you to lift your foot up like so. So can you push me up, push against me, push against me. Thank you. And the same on this side, push against me, push against me. Thank you. Next, I'm going to ask you to lift up just your big toe. All right, can you push me up, push against me, push against me, thank you. And can you push me up, push against me, push against me, thank you. Next, I'm gonna ask you to push your foot and only your foot down towards the floor. So, can you push me down, push against me, push against me, thank you. 
and the same on this side. Push against me, push against me, thank you. Finally, I'd like you to draw your leg back towards you like so. So, can you push against me, push against me, thank you. And the same on this side, push against me, push against me, thank you. So that completes how we would test the myotomes of the lower limb in practice. What you're looking for, as we said before, with each individual myotome is a significant weakness in any action. So therefore, we're going to grade the patient's strength on the Oxford scale between 0 and 5 for each movement. When you're looking for your significant weakness, bear in mind that you're looking for a really profound weakness. So it won't feel just like the patient has a little bit of reduced strength that may improve with some exercises. It will feel like the patient's really, really struggling to recreate that movement. An additional point to mention is pain inhibition. Your patient may present with pain as a part of their condition. And we know that pain may inhibit muscle activity, which is known as pain inhibition. Therefore, this needs to be considered as an alternative reason for your patient's reduced strength on myotomal testing. If it cannot be determined whether it is pain inhibition or neurological compromise that is creating the reduced strength, a myotomal weakness should not be excluded from your clinical impression at this time. So to summarize this video on the myotomes of the lumbar spine and the lower limb, L2 is for hip flexion, L3 is for knee extension, L4 is for ankle dorsiflexion, L5 is for first digit extension, S1 is for ankle plantar flexion, and S2 is for knee flexion. For each myotome, compare the right and left sides and measure the strength elicited on the Oxford scale between 0 and 5. Remember that you are looking for a profound weakness at each particular myotome as a sign of potential neurological deficit. And that completes our video on myotomal testing of the lumbar spine and the lower limb. Next, I'd like to suggest you have a look at our other videos in our lumbar spine neurological assessment catalogue, including lumbar spine palpation, dermatomal testing, reflex tests, and lower limb tension tests. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again soon, right here on Clinical Physio.